times and I stick to that idea. And therefore, Dest and Pedri, it isn't about their age, it's about their work rate, it's about their savvy. How you match handle, how you make decisions, because they will be asked to do creative things, that's evidently the large part of their DNA. But for sure, they've got some defensive decisions and positioning decisions that will be crucial in the in the way this match develops. Zinedine Zidane looking on, Ronald Koeman sitting down in the dugout. Uh, Koeman coming into this game, of course, after that uh, big win in the Champions League midweek for Real Madrid. It was yet more disappointment this time. We're seeing uh, in action there, Sergio Dest struck. Floats one forward for Ansu to chase. Making a run, Valverde. Valverde with an opportunity. 1-0 to Real Madrid. Valverde with the goal. Benzema gives the assist. The defence absolutely wide open. And Fede Valverde with his second goal of the season. Making absolutely no mistake. The Barca net bulging on five minutes. Messi and Ronald Koeman looking down in disbelief, I think. There's the ball from Nacho to Benzema. Asensio opening one with the outside of his foot. Gets the return ball from Benzema. Same. And the ball just to the Can Barcelona respond? Jordi Alba cuts in and it's an equaliser. Ansu Fati, that's the way to respond. The Classico gets off to an electrifying start. Eight minutes on the clock. A smile on Ronald Koeman's face, a little bit of concern there as well, I think. Barcelona right back into it. Anson Fati, the teenager, with his fourth goal of the season. Barcelona won, Real Madrid won. It's, if Alba's on side, and there seems to be a little doubt about it at the moment, it's because he bends his run. He comes really cleverly to stop and goes round. Sit down. Pila, it comes to Coutinho, he returns it to the Dutchman, the cutback. De Jong, Messi, Alba cuts it back towards there. Now Coutinho, Coutinho tries to shot. The play high up and give Madrid the chance to break. Graham, we're seeing Antoine Griezmann. Oh, it's given away. Messi gets away from Casemiro. Messi shot. To the gloves. Up to Bob Courtois and Messi's down. And uh, lunching at that right shin. Second time he's the ball in play just. And the referee sees Messi stay down. Second time he's looked for a foul and the referee's done both things absolutely correctly. Well, we won't see the replay of the previous one where Cruz has left his leg out and Messi... That's about Piquet. Sticking with it. Piquet's there to Messi. Collects. Gets away from Ramos. Courtois with the save. Still Messi. To Messi. Messi gets away from Casemiro into the area. Down he goes. Fabulous. Fabulous. Vinicius Junior, Vinicius, can't turn will target, Cruz with the corner, Casemiro up for it, astonishing, but it's like two old heavyweights fighting each other, an intelligence and a balance that allows them to fulfil more respect there, Benzema and Messi, a little higher, good luck, uh, Mendy, three men in the area for Mendy's cross, Lingley gets there first, Cruz, with another opportunity, puts it in, and Ramos was up for it, Dest, Oh, quick oh, feet so well. Gets the return ball, goes down. He just didn't have the momentum to continue. Blind himself. Messi gets away from Lucas. Lucas. Casemiro. Gonna try a shot. Too fatty in the area. Ramos in front of him. He goes outside Ramos. And puts the ball inches beyond the far post. 
smash. So close from Ansu Fati. Messi clearly knows that Fati's the man. The cut back, Messi to bit. Messi in the middle, so too is Coutinho. Coutinho with a header into the side netting. Excellent break from Barcelona, and it should really be 2-1. That reminded me of the midweek. Messi was sort of dormant for a little while. He, he woke up to the fact that Ferenc Varus' pullback was Nash. Alba's delivery is shorter in distance than Messi. Cruz swings it in. Nobody got on the end of it. That would be a goal kick. And, uh, Ramos appealing for a penalty and Martini Bunuera clearly being spoken to by Sanchez Martinez in the VAR operation room. Looks like a yellow card. Penalty. Penalty. Yep. To Messi's disgust as he turns away from the referee, but uh, huge to see the images. It is a huge decision, but it's the correct one, Graham. He gets a hold of his shirt. Long legs made it for the Madrid captain to put Madrid back in the lead and he does it Ramos the man Neto went the right way but couldn't get there it's superbly taken he didn't blast it this time took it low as you suggested and it's Barcelona 1 Real Madrid 2 Ramos putting Madrid ahead Kuman shaking his head but uh, we've seen the image you cannot deny that that is a giveable penalty Langley with a Hold of Ramos. Cruz. More danger for Barcelona. This is Trincao, Sergio Roberto and Junior Firpo. As uh, still Coutinho. And he ended up running into a... Run to that and challenge and stick out their chin. And there are others who, who fade. For Pedri, Pedri over the top to Ansu Fati. Ramos in there. Light cross. It comes to Coutinho. It's blocked by Ramos again. Appeals for handball against Ferran. And I've got a feeling that uh, VAR might say something about that as well. It, it, it shouldn't be there. They, certainly they, they can look at it. But he, he, there was no cheer. Vinicius. This with a magnificent. Now Alba. That's brilliant from Anasquez. It's a free kick in set piece. Courtois certainly had Messi. Gets. Oh, Vinicius was so close to doing precisely the right thing. Mind you, it is Messi territory. Hasn't scored a great big kick all season. Trying to meet everybody in front of him. He hits it straight into the wood desk. Whips the cross in. And it very nearly fell. It's an in-swinger. Headed away by Van which are significantly overdue. To Rodrigo, now Modric, Neto, out of so place, well, well, and Modric well, well, with well, the finish. Well, well. The Classico goes back to Madrid. Three points for Zinedine Zidane's champions. Barcelona in tatters at the end. And it's Luka Modric with brilliant footballing intelligence who gets the first. You're a youngster, you've been dropped recently, you're on as a league substitute, and you find yourself in a position where there's an enormous temptation to find your own space and shoot. And Rodrigo, from the instant...